All right, here's a little video um, about the uh, wall hang config. Uh, I recorded this a couple days ago, but I was like really all over the place. So I'll try to be a little more focused this time. Um, first thing I wanted to go over, there's this uh, Windows settings.json that holds the settings. Uh, of what you were working on before. So if you wanted to like, for whatever reason, you could delete, I'll delete this so it starts totally clean. Okay. So run the uh, executable. Um, so next, let's go over folders. There is, uh, so right underneath this folder, there's presets and presets history. Presets are the files that are used by this particular config like if you open one of these up it, it has enough information for that config to do its thing you know it stores colors things like that if you come over here underneath uh cyberpunk where it's actually installed under wall hang there's a settings i guess i called it settings instead anyway um this is where the configs are stored that are optimized for the mod. Um, if you open one of these up, you know, it doesn't know anything about colors. Uh, there's a description property. And all the values are actually as dot products, not as angles. Because, you know, uh, otherwise at runtime I'd have to take cosines. Um, anyway, so just see, there's two sets of settings. Uh, you guys won't really necessarily care about these. Um, right before recording this, I just implemented uh, history. Um, that way, if you like mess something up, if you if you're getting safe happy, and you can come in here and, and find an old old version of one of those, it's the exact same file, just with with uh, hour, month, day, year, down to the second. Anyway, so you can you can copy one of these and overwrite that if necessary. Just get rid of the timestamp okay see I'm rambling already so first thing to do is uh, set the set the folder um, and just like this example shows it, it wants the root wall hang folder not the settings folder so you can drag it if you want or just copy you know copy the the address however you want and then you know this expander pull it out of the way so there's all these settings. Uh, next thing I wanted to go over, if you're going to edit one, you know, you just, this is the existing ones. So if I want to edit, say this one, notice it loaded it as I hit, you know, the, the drop down. Be careful of that. Let's say that, um, let's come over here and say new. Notice these settings are new. It still says back jump. Maybe I should clear that out. Eh, anyway, so let's say that you're you're in here and you're changing all these values and then you're like you come into wanting you know, Say it's blank, right and say you have all these you've been playing with this you, you set all these values Okay, let's name this uh, say bunny hop or you know something like that as soon as I type B Saw that back jump and it loaded back jump. So be very careful of that Don't start like messing with things until you've until you've uh, nailed down this this uh, drop down so let me let me start over hit new and I'll call this uh, default um, that's the other thing last time I recorded this I was just all over the place this time I want to actually generate the default so give it your name hit new make sure you're clean then hit save once you hit save um, I mean you could check if you want but under presets now there's a why did that not save? I hit save. Oh, right there, default. I don't know why I didn't see that. Okay. And you'll notice I hit save twice, so there's both copies if you needed to. Uh, you know, you can sort of, oh, they're the same. Anyway, it's down to the second. Um, also, you come over here. I had already made this because these buttons, um, but this default now has that value. Uh, so now that we have all that set up, jump config, um, let's 
you hit your uh, hit this and oh, where'd my I was at 4k and I just pulled it down to 1k for recording so now I have to rearrange everything uh, give me a second give me a second okay so come into here um, you know and I made some of these helper buttons like you can just hit default um, make sure and hit OK so that it sticks and see I already coded against the word default so now we're going to actually implement the default if you'll notice if you look at this uh, it's totally blank um, it's a it's a copy of what I just got done saving so now if we come back over here and we make some changes and hit save um, here let me just show you so come over here uses the the base default values nothing crazy um, come over here and uh, let's let's set something wild let's set jump strength just crazy crazy high I hit save that has now saved into this file here but the mod doesn't see it yet until you come in here and you say reload all mods now it's picked up and it just really you know now it's using the new heavy uh, I don't know why it slides there. I'm trying to get back on the. Okay, 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 okay. So let's go over some of the. Oops. Let's go over some of these settings. Um, first of all, there's straight up, or there's standard, and there's straight up. Straight up is for. Um, if I hit that, if I say it has straight up then it only activates when you're looking at the wall and looking mostly straight up. If you're looking below this green line, all of these, none of these settings have any effect whatsoever. Um, that was made for, uh, let me just jump into here and set the, uh, we'll do when jumping at the wall. Um, I called it back jump. So like if you look at back jump, oh, it does have standard, but it also has straight up. Um, actually, I think I have an up only. Yeah, I have an up only. There. That has only straight up. So I'll show you what that looks like. Um, so now if I... I did set that at uh, regular. Only. Yep. So regular. So now I'm looking at the wall. Jump, jump, jump. Nothing. Right? When I'm looking up, now it's... It's... Uh, activating and if I look up but not looking at the wall huh, it still worked well yeah I guess that's not such a bad bug <laughs> a little weird but whatever okay so that's what straight up does it's kind of a specialized um, I was using up only um, it's it's specialized if you feel that you need it great um, you probably don't in most cases but it's a way of differentiating maybe you want really strong values when looking straight up but in your standard set think horizontal um, it wouldn't be needed so let me let me hit new again hit save so that we're all that way we're back to this value so no straight up for this for this uh default um the next big differentiator would be the up along away and the look first let's go over these angles here um so this set of values is when you're looking right at the wall and that's what this this line is so that's like me looking at the wall Right. And then like this line over to the right, that's like me looking off to the right, so on, so on, so on, so on. Um, I demonstrate that by adding an angle and then you, know, you can you can set this is an interior wall angle. You always have look directly facing the wall and directly away from the wall. Those two are hard coded. And then you can add extra 
We'll add some later. Um, you can give it a name too, you know, whatever. Um, and I, I just use color because if you start going nuts with angles, um, now you can like quickly see which goes to which. Uh, let's just hit new and save, start over. Okay, so we have directly facing the wall has a set of properties. Directly away from the wall has a set of properties. And then if we wanted to, we could have extra angles. I'll, I'll get into that later. We'll, we'll just stick with these two. So what to do when you're directly facing the wall, what to do when you're looking away from the wall. Um, like if you turn all these filters on, it's, it's just crazy. Way too many sliders to deal with at any one time. I'll go over that here in a minute. So the two most important though are up a long way and look and really look let's, let's stick with look so what is this look influence percent that means so here let's just do zero zero and zero so if look influence percent is zero then that means the only sliders that affect the final impulse will be this up along and away percent so up percent is this percent times this jump strength right here. So this jump strength is your absolute strength. If you used, if you had something set to a hundred, right? Um, so let me let me do the opposite. Let me set look to a hundred, look influence to a hundred, hundred save. Now whatever direction uh, let's set that to default yeah we'll just use that one actually I want, I want to do hang as well default oh it was already default okay okay so now whatever direction I'm looking that's the direction it jumps notice I'm looking at the wall and I hit jump and it's trying to launch me into the wall um, not very useful for trying to wall jump. Now, if I look up, yeah, that works great. But uh, if I'm looking away from the wall, why didn't that work? That should have worked. Look influence 100%. That should have worked. Huh. It didn't work. I don't know why it didn't work. Maybe I'm too far away. Now let me actually stick to the wall. Jump. There we go. I'm using grappling hook to save me. If I get too high, I'll uh, I'll die because um, I don't have any fall damage saving. So that's that's what it looks like if you're using a hundred percent jump wherever wherever you look. Um, so when I have this default config. I want this directly away from wall to be full look because it's just more natural. Plus, when I'm looking up and down, but when I'm looking at the wall, I don't want to jump the direction I'm looking because I'm going to jump straight at the wall. So what I want to do is I want to set look influence percent to nothing when looking straight at the wall. Then that means that these settings are what what matter um, so we'll set uh, a long actually these values are pretty good um, so we'll leave that alone so now I'll hit save and here's a good now see this circle plot here um, these little circle plots show you so at zero degrees at looking straight at the wall this is it has zero influence when looking directly away from the wall it has this much influence and all these so like watch uh, watch this up percent as I as I move it around so you can see it's um, I don't know where I'm going with that uh, another thing to to uh, note I'm using dozenal for all these values so when you see a hundred that's a hundred and dozenal grow I mean it's what they call it grow for gross 144 decimal and so half of 100 is 60, 60, um, which would translate to 72 decimal. So 
60 is half of, 6 is half of 12, 60 is half of a grow. Um, so when you see 90, that's 3 quarters. Um, so 90 would be 3 quarters, on and on and on. Uh, so up percent, yeah, we'll, we'll, keep it, we'll keep it around 90. Okay, let me hit save, and we'll see what that looks like. Okay, so now when I jump at the wall, it, it, it jumps up. When I look away, it jumps wherever I'm, wherever I'm looking. When I'm halfway, it feels pretty good, right? Um, so it's actually a pretty good, pretty good settings right there. <laughs> All this complexity, that's, that's actually pretty good. But let's, let's add a little bit more to it. So um, let's add an interior angle, and we'll set that angle to about there. Yeah, roughly 45 degrees. You know, right there would be exactly 45 degrees, 3 to 9, um, half of, anyway. So when you see 130, if, if you converted that, that's 180 degrees, but in dozen all that's one, 130. And there you go, 3 to 9 would be the equivalent of 45 degrees. So let's just set 45 degrees. Now, these values, at the time that I hit plus, these values, this, this angle was at, 90 degrees but now I want the values to be what they would be if you're at 45 and that's what this lerp does linear linear interpolation so lerp just sets all of these slider bars to what to the what they would be you know so you go from uh, well nice and easy look influence is zero here uh, full here so at 45 degrees look influence is hey three dough um, just like, why is it 3 dough and not uh, 3 dough 9? Huh. I guess that makes sense because it's a quarter of the way and that's a quarter. Oh, because that goes to 180. <laughs> One dough. Uh, anyway, see, I'm rambling already. Okay, so that's what this LERP does is it um, sets your values. To what they would be at that corresponding angle and the beauty of that then is i can then if i wanted to i could change that angle pull it around now you see these uh circle plots get little weird uh pinches in them um i use beziers under the hood to to calculate all that so let's just set that back and let's set our um look influence back down to I don't want to go completely to zero. And up, let's keep this, let's keep it the same. 93, I mean, it doesn't matter that much. Uh, along is fine, away, um, I still don't want a lot of away. Let's pull away down. And so away will try to push you away from the wall. But I really don't, when looking, actually, let's, Set it about there. Lerp that and redo our. So look influence. Set that back low. Away. Set that back low. Um, along. Yeah, that's fine. Up. Keep that up high. Um, so as you can see, it's just kind of, just kind of guessing. And then uh, hit save. Reload. I don't know how much of a tutorial this is. I'm trying to make this a tutorial, but I'm not. So, as I'm as I'm uh, looking at the wall to about you know if this is 90 degrees and that's 45, so about here to here, we're in um, we're in this territory inside of this territory, and so we're using these values. And then when I start looking beyond this angle here to here, now we're into this territory and what it what values and that's why that's what these circle plots are kind of doing. So the look influence is taking more effect. Um, the only reason, the only difference, uh, how do I say this? Horizontal. Um, 
this up along and away are like hard coded, right? Um, the it only looks at the horizontal component of your look direction, but I could be looking up and I want to jump up. I could be looking down and I want the impulse. I don't want a bunch of up pulling, you know, a strong up impulse when I'm looking down, that sort of thing. That's why you would favor using look influence over these hard coded up along a way. Um, if that makes any sense. So let's, uh, let's set this up and yeah, we'll set it a little bit lower. Yeah, that's probably good. Save you. Okay. So we'll say that that's good. I'll, I'll play with it, some of this off, off, uh, screen. Um, actually let me, um, make a new one. Let's call this, uh, yaw demo. Hit save, new, save. Okay, so now we have our yaw demo. We'll come over here and we'll reload. Have to reload because combo boxes don't see it yet. Now, um, yaw demo, and we'll get nutty. Okay, let's come back here. So we have our up along the way, all that. Um, how do I demo this without going completely off the rails? Why is Yah here? Yah should be over. Oh no, I did put it there. I just moved this. It used to be between these two. I put it here and not at the end. Um, so what Yah does, let me just demo this instead. Uh, default old. So notice we have default no latch or default, default up only and back jump back jump. So look what happens when I hold in shift and jump at the wall. See how it just spun me around and launched me off the wall? Well, let's look at those values. Um, what was that called? Back. Let's save because I'll come back to this. That was uh, back jump. Okay. So notice the yaw. Uh, let's only look at the yaw. Uh, When looking at the wall, I want the yaw to push me all the way backward. So see this plot? Um, and then when looking, you know, past about whatever angle, yaw goes way down. So between here and here, I really want to get pushed around. And I made this special visualization to help help with that. So orange would orange line is, you know, stuck to the mouse. Green line is the result, the final. Um, after the yaw. So notice when I'm facing the wall, the after the jump, the yaw will be completely, I, I turn the player completely around according to these values. And then as you start looking farther and farther, because these, I'm not, I'm not forcing yaw um, all the way, all the time. Um, it kind of, it, it's not as strong of a of a of an influence and then around here you know at zero that's where it meets up right so that's and I'll just demo that again um, so straight at it, it's a perfect turnaround if I'm looking uh, 45 degrees and I jump it the final was about 45 degrees away Past, past that is just normal, right? So, um, see, that doesn't feel right. That should that should do more. Let's come in here and set it more. So, here's a good example of we have. No, that 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 does it. That does it pretty good. Um, See, I don't like that jump right there. I'm trying to eliminate that jump. That would be because of this.
Oh, but I was trying to emulate... Uh, trying to emulate the before. Yeah, see that jumps. It's not bad. Let's see what that looks like. Okay. So straight at the wall. We'll look at 90 degrees. Dead on. Because No, that should have that should have moved it. Did I? Hmm. Oh, maybe that's because uh, it has strong look influence. What's my look influence? One hundred percent look. In. Does yaw only affect? I'll have to look at that. I wonder if yaw. Only affects non look influence. I'll bet it does. Look influence, look influence, set that there, save that, see how that looks. Yeah, sorry, I'm unfortunately I can't edit. Okay, well, I'll play with that a little bit more. Um, I don't like how that's only 45. Even though that's kind of, eh, it's not bad. Um, anyway, that's what that yaw does for you. So let's say that you wanted the opposite. Let's say you wanted something, let's go back to this yaw, what did I call it, yaw demo. Okay. So we'll add, a, we'll add an angle here at 90 degrees, and then we'll come in here and... Uh, so you can even go negative. Um, let's add. Yeah, we'll, we'll add one. Do that, and then we'll add one here. I'll just show you. I won't keep this, but just to kind of show how how crazy you can get. So like um, this one down here, we can set it negative. And this one, uh, what's my yacht? What's my look influence? Um, yeah, uh, I'll verify the uh, after this video. So here we have negative, and then here we have positive. So see, now watch what happens. Like it, it tries to turn me away, and then all of a sudden it turns me toward the wall, and then kind of me meets back up. So if you do something silly like that make sure it saw that um, we'll do ya demo and ya demo so see how it's like jumping the the look around there I was looking away from the wall a little bit and it pulled my pulled my head in it's I don't know. You can get pretty unnatural stuff, and it, it's it doesn't make sense. But you know the power is there. If you can think of a reason why you might want something like that, you know, use yaw very sparingly because it's it's unnatural snapping the snapping the look around. But in certain cases, like imagine you're you're doing a, something that's sort of a wall run style config, and then if I start to look this way you want to really exaggerate that and make the look really go that direction. That's where you would, so just to, as an example, let's clear all this off, add one, and then yaw, we, we go full, and then um, here we'll go a little bit, let's see what that looks like. Eh, I don't like that. Here, we'll do this. We'll add one underneath. Lerp that in. But set the yaw to zero. Set this yaw to crazy. 
Yeah, there we go. Boom. That's that's too much. See how as soon as you start looking away, it like launches the view. So see how that feels. Uh, I might it might not. Uh, yeah, see, I just with them one looking kind of at the wall, no big deal. As soon as you start to look away from the wall, it like shoots the shoots out away. I wonder if if uh, look percent is um, influence influences the. Uh, um, let's just do look at look percent none just to save that. I don't even know what my yeah we'll we'll see what that looks like. All right. Yeah, it's about the same. Okay, so that's yeah. Um, the other thing I kind of wanted to touch on was uh, this relatch. So the reason why I made relatch its own. Uh, let's start over new. Um, I don't even. Uh, we'll go back to default. I'm gonna delete that yaw because it's annoying. Okay, so the, this whole relatch thing. Oh, relatch. Yeah, um, I made it a percent or a, so. Lo, like, let's say that uh, you don't want to relatch here, at the, in this region, but you do want to relatch everywhere else. Um, what I do is I uh, fifty percent probability. If so, going from zero to a, to a hundred. There, we'll we'll save that. So um, let's set this back to, I guess I don't need to reload up front. Uh, default, 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 okay. So now notice when I look at the wall and I jump, it just falls. Oh, I have to, it doesn't latch. I have to manually hit my Q button to latch it. But if I look a little bit away, launching me it's it's uh, relatching um, it basically it's like it hits Q um, soon after you hit jump it does it for you having that inconsistency where sometimes it latches in in certain ranges and not in others I thought that would be cool but in practice it's just annoying the the uncertainty makes it, um, it it's just not good so Basically, really, this should just be a checkbox, but it's all implemented. And just in case there's a reason why somebody would want an intermittent latch, um, relatch, it's there. So let's go back and set this back to full, 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 full. Okay. And then you get into relatch time. Keep in mind, this is in Dozenal, so this would be the equivalent of milliseconds, emo seconds for. Yeah, you can look on Wikipedia if you really care. But uh, 800, 8 is two-thirds of 12. So 800 milliseconds is two-thirds of a second. 600 would be half a second. 1,000 would be one second, so on, so on, so on. I go up to one and a half seconds. Um, so we'll set it back to 800. All right. So two-thirds of a second is... And that that's when... That's when relatch reapplies. Um, you could set it to zero, but basically you're now it'll apply immediately, and you'll be skidding along the wall because the uh, I don't I don't immediately stop the player. I you have to slow down. That's that's governed by these settings here. Um, maybe. Yeah, grabs grab sliding. So like you could set these really high, min speed really high and, and drag. So drag is is how much drag is applied when you're sliding along the wall with the latch applied. 
um, you can play with this. I, I tried to make it because when I very first put out Wall Hang, none of this was there and it was instant, and it just felt arcadishly um, unnatural. You could jump off of a skyscraper and then just instantly catch yourself on a tiniest of railings, and it just didn't feel right. There's no uh, feeling of weight to the player. Uh, so that's what that relatch is. And the reason why I made these settings, wall attraction settings, different than because it's the exact same sort of mechanism as these settings, the max distance, that, that should be six. Yeah. I was playing, I was playing with values earlier. Um, is that you would want these settings to be, uh, kind of kind of normal feeling acceleration would be about eight whatever whatever the fault is but when you're out jumping around you probably want more aggressive settings so your distance from the wall before it kicks in um, how much acceleration to apply and then this power that's this power curve so this would be max distance from the wall zero percent of the power is applied if you if you you know, set it to uh, up to 12 dosenal ten dosenal do. Um, you know, it's it's uh, it's a power curve. Um, how's that for rambling? This still feels like it's a half hour video. Probably is. Uh, I want to be thorough, but I don't want to be uh, too rambly. Um, Any graph. So that's why I have latch settings the wall attraction settings different now again i don't know why you would want different settings based on angles but you could the power is there it's just get your settings dialed in before you start adding interior angles because otherwise there's that many more sliders to fiddle with um yeah, I think I'll call it there because I'm just kind of rambling along. And you can have both standard and straight up applied at the same time. Um, it just, uh, along those boundary, I, I uh, do a gradient between the two um, at those boundaries. You don't have to. But again, this, so let's say that you had this, uh, this default all dialed in the way you want and, you know, up is like 90 right it's or a th three quarters of of the maximum strength i'm not even using this full maximum strength but let's say you want straight up if you look straight up let's say you wanted uh some crazy high values you know maybe that's a reason why you'd want this straight up and the standard so even though you're looking at the wall as soon as you look up past a certain threshold it really kicks in or something. I don't know. What it, wh however you want to do it. Um, yep. But I'm rambling along. So we'll call that a video.